Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Everyday Faith Day 5. Hope you guys are doing amazing today. Hope you had a great weekend and are ready to conquer this week ahead. Um, yesterday we talked about, in our devotion, we talked about the only cure for grief is to grieve. And that was freeing to some people, which is super cool to, to hear that, that that had an impact on people and that it's okay to grieve. People have been holding on to things for years and never grieving the loss of someone or never grieving the change in a situation or whatever it may have been that really impacted your life. And, uh, and it's almost like yesterday we, we lifted a weight off some people and said, it's okay to grieve. As a matter of fact, it's, uh, it's the only way to go. And as we dive into day five, it's amazing because even Jesus did. And that, that should show us that it's okay for us to. The shortest verse in the entire Bible is our devotion today. And it's John eleven thirty five. And it says, Jesus wept. As I said, the shortest verse in all of scripture, Jesus wept, plain and simple, two words, deeply profound. The almighty creator through whom all things were made and all things are sustained, as the author of Colossians puts it, wept. He was moved to tears in grief and loss. In this moment, Jesus was triumphantly divine and completely human. Part of what makes this passage so profound is what Jesus did, or more specifically, what he didn't do. Jesus didn't try to connect or correct the situation. He wasn't trying to fix it. All too often, we're trying to be fixers in certain situations. He could have bypassed the tears and immediately raised his good friend Lazarus from the dead, but he didn't. Instead, he listened to what was said and accepted the reality of this dreadful circumstance. It was as if Jesus was setting an example for us that it's okay to weep. It's okay to hurt. It's okay to grieve. If we want to move forward from our grief, then we have to first learn how to accept our grief. If we want to move forward with our grief, we first have to learn how to accept our grief. And I, I want to go back to this, this uh, second to last paragraph. Instead, he listened to what was said and adapted the reality of his dreadful circumstance. It was as if Jesus was setting an example for us that it's okay to weep, it's okay to hurt, and it's okay to grieve. It's okay to grieve. I'm going to leave y'all with that today, guys. Be blessed. Have an incredible day, and we'll see y'all tomorrow.